welcome to another day of having fun through mathematics. Now, I want us to just go back a little to our last lesson. In the last lesson, we looked at the base 10 system. And we found that in the base 10 system, we made use of 10 numerals. Videli, would you like to tell me those 10 numerals? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Did she mention 10? No. So it's not because we're using the base 10 system that number would be included among the group. We go one less. So the base 10 system encompasses numbers from 0 to 9. Now, if you had listened, you would have heard I said the base 10. So that means that 10 is in charge at the moment. And to demonstrate what I'm saying, we're going to group 10 and its powers. So we start from 10 to the 0, and we proceed 10 to the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, and we can go on. And in that lesson, we looked at how we can identify the place value of a number in the base 10 system. And we also looked at how to compare numbers in the base 10 system which one is greater, how we found the difference to indicate which one is greater. Now let us do a little revision on place value because we're going to use the base 10 system to do what we want to do today. We have, let us say for example, we have the number 425. Somebody comes to you and said, what is the value of that 2? So we're going to take the 425 and we're going to put it on the grid. So we have 4, 2, 5. Now let us check to see who is the boss of the 2. So we look up to the top. And we notice that 10 to the first power is in charge of 2. So the place of the 2 is the 10th. Because... 10 to the first power is same as 10. And how many tens is this indicating? Two. two tens. So the actual value of this two here is 2 multiplied by 10, and that would give us 20. 20. Very good. Base 10, who is in charge? 10. 10. Now today we want to explore the base 2 system. So if we're going to explore base 2, who's going to be in charge? Two. 2. In the base 10 system, we use 10 numerals. In the base 2, we're going to use? 2. two. Lorian, what do you think those two numbers are going to be? Zero and one. Those two numbers are zero and one. Very good. Remember, it's always one less. So if it's base 10, we stop at nine. Base two, zero, one. Now, we grouped by 10. So we're going to follow the same pattern to explore base two. So let us draw up our grid. And as you notice here, we're following the same pattern. 10 is in charge. Here we have 2 in charge. So it's 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, and we can go on. And we can go on. The numerals being used, 0 and 1. Now you might be asking yourself, why do I need to know about the base 2 system? Now, for all those who would like to take up computering later on in their lives, you use the base 2 system, predominantly it's used there, to help with compact disk storage 
and how programs are made and so on, they use that in the base. The base two system is applied computer in science. And very, very long ago, you had a, a great math mathematician by the name of God, Godfrey Leibniz. And he was an advocate. He really fell in love with the base two system. And wherever he go, he told people about it. So it's only, you might be hearing about it now, but it has been around for quite some time. Now let's find out what, it's, what it entails. Now today, we want to find the place value of numbers using the base two system. And we want to multiply also using the base two system. So let us go on our journey. Now let us say I have a number 1010 zero, one, zero. and it's written to the base 2. And I think you should observe how I called it. I didn't say 1010. I said 1010 zero, one, zero to the base 2. Only zeros and ones have been used. And at the bottom here I've written the name. So let us put this up here. So we have zero, one, zero, one. Now this is in base two. What about if we have the same number in base ten? And we ask ourselves, of the two, which is the larger? They're not in the same base. So the first thing we're going to have to do to identify which is large, we have to put them in the same base. So we're going to take them to base 10. 1 is already in base 10. So the value of this one is 1,010. 1,010. But what is the value of this number? So let's find out. Here is the units column. So we have no units. This is the twos column. So this one indicates to me that I have one, two. So I'm going to add that to one by two. This column here, two to the second power, two squared, is the same as four. So how many fours do I have here? No four. And then I go to my last column here. And I have 2 to the third power. And neon, what is 2 to the third power? What is the value of 2 to the third power? Eight. 2 to the third power is 8. And I have 1 under the 8th column. So that indicates to me, Quincy, how many 8s do I have? 1 8. So here I would have 8 by 1. So if I should add up here, I would have 8 plus a 2 and that would give me a 10 and this 10 is in base 10 so 1010 in base 2 is equivalent to 10 in base 10 and 1010 is 1010 in base 10 so which of the two is larger 1010 we cannot look at them like that and compare them. We have to get them in the same base. So if I have, first example, 11011 base 10, and I have 11011 in base 2, I would like you to determine which of the two is greater? Examine them. Good. Do we have an answer? Yes, Quincy. You were saying? 11,011 is greater than 11,011. And how did you come to that conclusion? Because 
equivalent to. It's equivalent to. Mm -hmm. 51. It's equivalent to 51 in base 10. And when we compare 11,011 in base 10 to 51 in base 10, we know right away that 11,011 is greater than 11011 base 2. So we first would have to take the base 2 to base 10. And then we can see they're on the same level, they're in the same unit, so we can make a comparison. Okay? Good. So here we have changed a base 2 number to a base 10 because we wanted to find out which one had a greater value. Now let us say we have, let us go back to number here, 1010. Zero, zero. And somebody asks you, what is the value of the first digit? What is the value of the first digit in the number 1010 zero, zero in the base 2? So we're looking for this number here, it's the first digit. So I'm going to ask Videli to tell me why, to tell me what is the value of this one here in the base 2. And why do you say 8, Videli? Because 2 raised to the third power is 8. And why, or how do you come up with 2 to the third power? Because it's placed on the third power. Very good, because the one's place is under the 2 to the third power column. Very good. Would anybody like to ask a question? Good. So here we have shown the place value of a number using the base 2 system. Now let's proceed. What about if we have a number in base 10 and we want to change that number to a base 2 number? We have 31 base 10. And when we are finished writing 31, we must only see zeros and 1. So we're moving from base 10 to base 2. Who would like to give me a suggested answer? Yes, Neon? Place the third one in the grill and see what is the third one is in base 10. And if we place it in the grill, we would have 10 to the 0, 10 to the first, and that would give us 3 tenths and 1 unit. And we have a 3 and a 1, and a 3 is not used in the base 10 system. So we'd have to take another approach. We need to divide the third to 1 by 2 to convert to base 10. So let's try Fideli's method. So we're going to take third to 1 and we're going to divide it by 2. When third to 1 is divided by 2, what is our answer, Quincy? We have 15, which 15 twos are 30, and remainder 1. Do we stop there? No. no, we keep dividing. We take 15 and we divide it by 2. And when 15 is divided by 2, Fideli, what is my answer? 7, it's 7, 7 two is 14, and remainder 1. Then we have 7 divided by 2. Lorianne, when 7 is divided by 2, we have 6, 3, and remainder 1. Then we have 3 divided by 2. Yeah. 1 and remainder 1. Now we don't stop there. We do the division until we have a zero. So we go one divided by two. When one is divided by two, 
we're supposed to have a fraction. So we say it's not possible to have a whole number, but we would have a remainder of 1. So as soon as you have achieved this condition here of the 0, that means that your division comes to an end. We can write our base 2 number. So we begin here. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, base 2. So we know that 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 in the base 2 is the same as 3rd to 1 in the base 10. Now we want to justify that that is so. So what I want you to do is to draw the base 2 column with the grouping of the 2's and prove to me that yes, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 to the base 2 is indeed 3rd to 1. got her to one. Yes. Very good. Did everybody else got third to one? Yes. Neon got third to one. Good. So we have third to one. So let us check a let us do a, a a check on the board. So if we should draw up our grid here. We have 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th. So we have 1 unit. Then we have 1, 2. We have 1, 2 to the 2nd. We have 1, 4. We have 1, 8. And here we have 1, 16. And if we find the sum of 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1, the sum would be 3rd to 1. Okay? So here we have moved 3rd to 1, or we have converted 3rd to 1 in base 10 to 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 to base 2. So that's how we move from base 10 to base 2. And if you look, we have moved from base 2 back to base 10. Now let us proceed. We want to perform the operation of addition in base 2. So we're going to find the sum of 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. We want to find the sum of those two numbers and they are both written in the base 2. So we set them down as we would normally do the base 10. So we have 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. And we're going to find the sum. Now remember, we can only use zeros and ones. Now when we add here, we know that 1 and 1 unit would give us 2. Can we use 2? No, we cannot use 2. So we're going to have to change that 2 into zeros and 1. 2 is actually 1, 2 and no units. 2 would be no units and 1 here. That's a 2 in the base, 2 system. So the no units we bring across here. And the 1, 2, we take across to the 2's column. So we have 1, 2, and another 2 here. How many 2's do we have? How many 2's do we have now? 2 2's. 1, 2, and another 2. Can we put a 2 here? No. So from the 2 2's, we'd have 1, 4, and no 2 remaining. So the no two that remains would go here. So we have one four and one four would give us two fours. And again, we cannot put the two here. One, one four and another four give us, we can't put the two here. So we know that the two fours would give us one eight and no remainder. 
the no four goes there. So we have one eight and one eight gives us two eights. Same pattern continues. From the two eights we have one sixteen and no remainder. So we go to the fifth column, 116, 216, 316. 116, 216, 316. We know that two sixteens will give us 132 and 116 remains. These two sixteens would give us a 32 and 116 remains. So we have 116 and 132. So the sum of 10011 and 11101 in the base 2 is equal to 110000 to the base 2. Now you practice on this one for me. Find the sum of those two base 2 numbers. Good, so we have our answers ready. Quincy, would you like to volunteer your answer? Would you start that again for me? I'm taking it from the from the right. Yes. Zero one. Yeah. One one. Mm -hmm. one zero one. Good. So we have one zero one. 1110 to the base 2. And if you look carefully on the board, you would observe that we only made use of zeros and ones. In cases where we had twos, when we summed and we got a two, we had to change it to have either a zero or a one. Good, so we converted from base 10 to base 2. We went the opposite way. We moved from base 2 to base 10, and we also added base 2 numbers. Now let us try one other thing. We're going to perform the operation of multiplication. And what two numerals are we going to use again? Zero. What about three and four? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Not base because it's a base two system and? Very good. Now we're going to find the product of one 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 zero one and one one. These are both in base 2. So we set them down in the normal way. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 is being multiplied by 1, 1. So we add our 0 and we multiply. 1 by 1 would give me? 1 by 0? Zero. 1 by 1? One by one. One. one by one, one by one, second one, one by one, one, one by zero. zero, one by one, one, one by one, one, one by one. one. And now we're going to add these two, find the sum. So you see why we needed to add and then multiply? Good. So you are going to find the sum of 111010 and 11101. Quickly. Yes, Quincy, would you like to volunteer your answer? Let's start from the right. 111 Now let's go through that. A 1 and a 0 would be 1. 
1 and 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1. But when we come to the fourth column, we have 1 and 1 would give us a 2. And remember, a 2 is a 1, 0. The 0 comes into this column and we take the 1 across. So we have 1, 2, 3. And a 3 in base 2 is written as 1, 1. The 1 comes into this column. And then we take this one across to the other. So we have 1 and 1, 2. But 2 is written as 1, 0. So we have the 0 in this column and the 1 here. And this is written to the base 2. So the product of 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 to the base 2. Now it's time for you to try 1. So you're going to find the product of 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1. Do we have an answer? Yes, yes Fideli. I take yours. What did you have when you multiplied the first one? Let's start from the right. Zero, mm -hmm. one, one, one. And the second line? One, one. Yeah. One, one. Mm -hmm. And when you sum these two up, you got? One, zero, one. One, zero, one. One, zero, one. One, zero, one. One, zero, one to the base two. Very good. Now let us recap. Pay keen attention. Lesson 2. In lesson 2, we're looking at number theory, number basis. In this lesson, we will state the place value of a digit in a numeral and multiply in the base 2 number system. Here are some key points. The base 2 or binary number system is made up of two digits, 0 and 1. The base 2 system is ideal for compact digital storage. Here are some more key points. Godfrey Leibniz, who was born in 1646 and died in 1760, was a great advocate of the base 2 system. The great mathematician and philosopher believed that God created the universe one out of nothing zero. He confused nothing with zero. Compare and contrast the two bases. Grouping by 10, grouping by 2. Let us convert base 2 to base 10. Grouping by 2, so we have 1, 0, 1 in the base 2. And that is equal to 1 by 2 to the second power. And that is added to 0 by 2 to the first power. And added to 1 by 2 to the 0 power. And that is equal to 4 plus 0 plus 1. And that will give us 5 in the base 10. Let us convert base 2 to base 10 again. Grouping by 2, we have the number 1, 1, 0 to the base 2. And that is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 to the second power. And that is added to 1 multiplied by 2 to the first power, which is added to 0 multiplied by 2 to the zero power, which is equal to 4 plus 2 plus 0, which is equal to 6 in the base 10, which is the larger 1, 0 base 10 or 1, 0, 0, 0 base 2. Now 1, 0 base 10 is equal to 1 by 10 to the first plus 0 by 10 to the zero, and that is equal to 10 in the base 10. 1, 0, 0, 0, base 2 is equal to 1 by 2 to the third power plus 0 by 2 to the second power plus 0 by 2 to the 1 power plus 0 by 2 to the 0 power. And that is equal to 8 in the base 10. Therefore, 1, 0, base 10 
or 10 in the base 10 is greater than 1000 zero, zero, zero in the base 2. Let us convert base 10 to base 2. 5 in the base 10 is equal to something in the base 2. We don't know. Now let us find out. Let us divide. 5 divided by 2 equals 2 with a remainder of 1. So we have to keep on dividing. 2 divided by 2 equals 1 with a remainder of 0. We go again. 1 divided by 2 equals 0 with a remainder of 1. Therefore, 5 to the base 10 is equal to 1, 0, 1 base 2. Now here is a little note. The division process continues until the quotient is 0. We can also add and multiply in base 2. We have a 0, add it to a 0 would give us a 0. We have a 0, add it to a 1 will give us a 1. Here we have a 1, add it to a 0 will give us a 1. And a 1 added to a 1 will give us a 1, 0. Now how did we get this 1, 0? A 1 plus a 1 is equal to a 2. But remember in the base 2 system, we cannot use the numeral or the digit 2. So we do our division. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, remain the 0. We have to divide until the quotient is 0. 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0 and remainder 1. So here we have our 1, 0. Same that we have here. Now let us multiply. 0 multiplied by 0 results in 0. Let's go again. 0 multiplied by 1 will give us 0. Now we have 1 multiplied by 0 and again we'll have 0. Now we have 1 multiplied by 1 will give us a 1. Example 1. Calculate 1, 1, 1 in the base 2 multiplied by 1, 1 base 2. Solution. So here we have set down. We have our 1, 1, 1 first followed by our 1, 1. So we add a naught because we have two digits that we're multiplying by here. Now we take our first, one by one is our one, one by one is one again, one by one is one. Now we're multiplying by a single digit here, one by one, one, one by one, one, and one by one again is one. Now we have two sets of products here. Now we need to add them. A 0 added to a 1 is a 1. We have a 1 added to a 1. Remember the previous example when we added a 1 and a 1, we got a 1, 0. So the 0 is placed here and the 1 is taken to the next column. So we have the 1, 2, 3. And 3 would be a 1, 1. So the 1 remainder we put here and we take the 1 across to this column. 1 and 1 is 2 and remember 2 is written as 1, 0. So when we multiply 1, 1, 1 in the base 2 by 1, 1 base 2, our product is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 to the base 2. Now let's try example 2. Calculate 1, 1, 0 base 2 multiply by 101 base 2. Solution. Now after we have set down our numbers, we find the product. Now this here is a three digit number. Now we're starting our multiplication from this one here. So we need to add our two zeros here. So we multiply one by zero, it's a zero. One by one is a one and 1 multiplied by 1 is a 1. So we move to the 0. 
And we know when we multiply it 0 by anything except itself, our answer is going to be 0. So every time we multiply 0 by these digits, we're going to have 0, as in this case here. Now you might be wondering how we got four zeros. Remember we have two digits here. So when we had three, remember we added two knots? So we have two. So we needed to add one zero. And then we multiplied zero by one, two, three, and we got these three zeros here. Now we multiply by our one. One by zero is a zero. One by one is one. And 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 again. So after we have multiplied by each digit here, we got 1, 2, 3 products which we need to add. When we, when we added the 3, we end up with 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 to the base 2. Example 3. Calculate. 1, 1, 1, 0 base 2. Multiply by 1, 0, 0, base 2. Solution. Because it's a three-digit number, we add our two zeros, and then we multiply by, multiply by our 1. And we know 1 by 0 will give us a 0. 1 by 1 is a 1. 1 by 1 is 1. 1 by 1 is 1. And we know also know that if we had gone ahead and multiplied by these two zeros, we would have had nothing but zeros here. So our product, after multiplying 1, 1, 1, 0 by 1, 0, 0, is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 to the base 2. Summary. 1 plus 1 in base 2 is 1 0. 1 0 in base 2 reads as 1 0 to base 2 and not 10 to base 2. When we multiply in base 2, the product is always 0 or 1. Now to reinforce what we did today, we've selected a few problems. Again, we're using the Mathematics or Secondary Schools in Guyana Book 3. And today's problems can be found on page 3. It's exercise 1b and there are questions 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. And I know you'll have a lot of fun attempting them. Now we want to give you the solutions for the problems given in the last lesson. Remember they were taken from page 2 and it was exercise 1a. Question 2 said, write down the place value of the digit 7 in 7,368 and the place value is thousands. In B, 4 in 487.93 and the place value of the 4 is hundreds. C, 6 in 26.45 and the 6 is the ones and D 8 in 0 0.568 and that's thousands. From 2 we went to question 4. Write down the value of 9 in 9362 and the value is 9000. B 8,967, the value of the 9, 900, 5,693, 90, and D, 4,769, 9. Then we went to question 6, and I know you're having a lot of fun there because you got all of them correct. Now in question 6, the question asked was, what is the difference between the values of the 6's in 69,456? The value of the four six is, first 6 is 60,000 and the last 6 is 6. 
So when we take 6 out of 60,000, we're left with 59,994. <laughs> Did you enjoy the lesson that we just went through? Yes, yes. And is there any budding technologist among you here? We have one. And make sure that even if you don't want to get into the field of technology, even if you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you have to use the computer. So you must have an idea of how it works and how the base two system can help you.